the area of public transit is in trouble. As we've been reporting, ridership is still lagging three years now into the pandemic. And with federal aid running out, well, agencies are at a crossroads. The Metropolitan Transportation Commission held a hearing today on public transit slow comeback. KTV's Tom Vakar monitored that meeting and joins us now with the outlook and also potential solutions. Tom. No other way to say it than on roads, rail and water, local transit is heading for a reckoning. Billions in federal pandemic relief funds kept Bay Area transit systems operating over the past three years of the pandemic. The Bay Area received over $4 billion to keep all of our systems running, and that money is going to dry up. For some agencies, only a rapid recovery in local revenues, taxes, and rider fares, and then some, can prevent them from going off a financial cliff. That's because, regardless of scenarios, inflation, labor costs, and fuel prices make it impossible to deliver pre-pandemic service levels. And it costs more to do less today than it did four years ago. Key regional transit services around the Bay Area would face a hollowing out of service to a degree that we've never before experienced. The Metropolitan Transportation Commission projects that the Bay Area transit operators are going to face a combined deficit as high as $3.3 billion over the next five years. And that would force less service, maintenance and improvements. Despite an only 15% drop in operating revenues, we would expect to see about a 30% reduction in the level of transit service hours delivered. Most endangered? BART, SFMTA, Caltrain, and Golden Gate Transit because their revenue sources are dependent on fares, parking revenues, and tolls at a time remote workers are using far less transit. BART? which under this scenario would only be able to operate about 22% of its pre-pandemic revenue vehicle hours. The SF Transit Riders Organization says more money for transit is beneficial, even for non-riders who would otherwise suffer from more crowded freeways, more local pollution, as well as climate change. It impacts everyone. It Im impacts riders who are most reliant on public transportation, whether they are Riders working in grocery stores, hospitals, or riders working in the service industry. That could mean passing more transit bonds or taxing businesses that benefit from transit. And there's been significant work done around more progressive taxes like personal income tax, uh, more um, gross receipts and things like that. And those, of course, would be very tough sells to legislators or to voters themselves. Tom Baker. KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, and, and Tom, with so many companies still allowing for remote work, it seems that that's also having a big impact on Bay Area transit. And that's likely to continue for a long, long time because many people, especially younger ones, are expecting to be able to work remotely at least a few days a week. Add to that a more recent push for a four-day work week, and that does not sound good or spell any good news for the transit industry. Uh, there is going to be a change. The question is, how big is it going to be and how much are we going to have to pay? Yeah, and they've all got to be preparing for those questions. All right. Thanks so much, Tom. Appreciate it.